This is a Prince George's County Public Schools news break. You give enough space there? Yeah. What with no gravity around to tax muscles, keeping fit in outer space is always a challenge. But not for the students at Buck Lodge Middle School who recently demonstrated extraterrestrial fitness routines without ever leaving Earth. The Science Space Medicine Summer Academy being held for Buck Lodge students this summer and sponsored by USDA and other nearby government agencies had students dreaming of space careers as they calculated an astronaut's calories and readied model rockets to explore the close-in heavens. Am I to imagine that this is uh, the space station here? Yes. Ah, cool. But you're not floating. You're not in zero G or reduced. Z uh, well, you counted the calories. Uh, I guess it's important because you can't go to the Safeway when you're up there, can you? You've no. got to kind of take everything with you. Are you planning on growing any of your own food in space? Yes, yes. We're, 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 we're planning. We're, we're planning some. Um, Hydroponic. Yeah. Um, um, soil. It's like, um, as you can see, this is the water, yeah. but it kind of has nutrient on it, so it kind of stinks. Hydroponic. Yes. Uh, lettuce and all. The summer space program, open to students of aptitude and interest, is an outreach program by Buck Lodge to connect the students, often for the first time, with the rich federal resources right there in their Adelphi neighborhood. What we're trying to do through this program is trying to connect the students and Buck Lodge to all the scientific agency around the community. You've got the FDA, you've got the USDA, you've got, um, you know, you've got NASA, you know, uh, you've got the NIH. And through this program, we have been having a lot of scientists coming in, giving, uh, you know, a presentation. Uh, and then the students have, are having the opportunity. That's the ultimate goal of SSA, is to really find a job, an after-school job, while they're studying, and at the same time, uh, internships, if not jobs. Looking as though school never ended, Buck Lodge hosted not only the Space Academy this summer, but also a transitions program for students moving from elementary to middle school, as well as those older children needing extra help in core subjects like math as they prepare to go to grade six, seven, or eight. Well, we have some students that are going into sixth grade, some students going into seventh grade, and some students going into eighth grade. Um, but we have one concept uh, that is across grade levels in the curriculum, scale drawings and maps. And what it is is I try to break it down to them in real life situations and hands on where they can work together as a team and build from each other. So this isn't like summer school, like regular summer school, is it? No. Now, how's it different? It's more fun and it explains you more and like hands on. Yeah. And this is a good teacher, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. You guys look like you're having a lot of fun. What brings you here to Buck Lodge in the middle of the summer? You could be out at the swimming pool or doing whatever else, but here you are. Yeah, I'm here because and, you know, I'm saying because I need help in my mathematics and my reading. And I think, you know, it's a good program for students who haven't, you know, really, like, connected into, like, the subject and haven't really passed through it. It's, I think, yeah, this is why I'm here. Since Buck Lodge also provides free healthy meals this summer as part of the USDA's Summer Food Service Program, one of 93 sites to do so, the school is a center of much activity and a source of much pride in this educational off-season. So kids are being fed throughout the summer, and that's the most important thing, that they're being fed, that they're having fun. If you look around, all of the kids that you've seen are having a great time. So I wanted to gauge them in a meaningful educational way. And then finally, it's simply about bringing and allowing the community to be able to come in and using this place as a place where they could be safe over the summer, they, they could receive food over the summer, and they can learn. Um, so that's kind of the payoff. And what is the payoff for all those extra efforts? Well, there's new friends, less anxiety about a new place, 
a bit of exercise, and all that free food for both body and soul. Have you made any new friends? Yes, I have. I made um, sixth graders going to seventh graders. They're going to seventh grade. I met them. You know, they're really <laughs> nice kids. What do you think about the lunches? I think they're good. Yes, they're really, they're delicious. Um, my favorite are the like the ones that they have, the French fries. They're like their little hot spicy French fries. Uh -huh. They're my favorite. They're like delicious. That's I love I love the lunch here. It's yeah, it's good. That's good. That's great. And it seems like kind of slow on desserts, so it's probably maybe a little more nutritious. Yeah, huh? it's nutrition and it has a lot of protein, less calories. You know, try to help the kids stay in fit. Would you recommend this to other kids for next year? Yes. Yeah. Definitely. All right. Whoever said taking up space meant boring never visited Buck Lodge in the summertime, where learning is almost as much fun as trips to the pool and summer cookouts. Almost. For channels 96 and 38, this is Dave Zarin reporting.